Let's turn to the story that's been dominating the headlines for the last four days. Four days after Rohit Vemula killed himself, the Hyderabad University that suspended him has revoked its order so that four of his friends who faced allegations of assault and alleged anti-national activities have been taken back. But there is still no end to the political turmoil as over 12 faculty members have resigned in solidarity with the students. T.S. Sudhir and Pratibha Raman now report. This makeshift memorial in the middle of the University of Hyderabad is all that remains of former student Rohit Vimulan, who committed suicide on this campus last Sunday. But the death of the PhD scholar ignited unprecedented protests. And politicians made a beeline for the campus to score brownie points, using Rohit's memory to drive home a case against the center. जिस तरह से उन्होंने इस पूरे के पूरे मामले को दलित वर्सेस नॉन दलित बनाने की कोशिश की, उन्होंने झूठ पे झूठ बोलने की कोशिश की। As the protests centered the fourth day, the university buckled under pressure, revoking the suspension of four members of the Ambedkar Study Group, the campus group Rohit was part of. But the move did little to impress an unrelenting opposition. It is one more attempt on part of Modi government to uh, perpetuate their anti-poor, anti-Dalit agenda. The BJP faced fire from its own ally, which demanded an independent probe keeping top ministers in its ambit. Let an investigation happen, a thorough investigation happen and then whosoever, anybody who is responsible, uh, who compelled uh, Rohit to take such a drastic step should not be spared. Even as the Vice-Chancellor appealed for normalcy, there was no containing the campus fire, with more than 10 teachers tendering their resignation over remarks by the HRD minister. But Sushil Kumar, the ABVP activist who started it all, stands by his assault charge on the fateful night in August last year. They have come to my room in the midnight, 30 plus more members. The, uh, they were the five people, uh, even including Rohit Vemula. And the unfortunate thing is... Rohit Vemula hit you? Yeah, Rohit Vemula also hit me. A scholarly life cut short due to a humiliating expulsion. Amid the high decibel politics and the furious protests, the big question, will Rohit get justice? With Pratibha Raman and T. Sudhir in Hyderabad, Shujoy, India Today. So has the Hyderabad student suicide become a battleground for Dalit politics? That's the big question I want to raise at the moment. Joining me now, Kumari Shelja, former union minister of the Congress and its Rajya Sabha MP and also one of its prominent Dalit faces. Also joining me, Sudhan Shu Trivedi of the Bharatiya Janta Party, its spokesperson and Professor Vivek Kumar of JNU, who has taken a strong Bahujan Samaj position in the past. Joining me, though, first is Kumari Shelja. On the big question, Kumari Shelja, that with every passing day, the sense I get is that this is less about justice for Rohit Vemula now, but about political one-upmanship. The Congress wants to score political points to the point where you are asking for the resignation of Smriti Irani. Why should she resign for what happened in Hyderabad? I'm afraid this is the kind of language that BJP is speaking. Please understand that this situation is not of our making. It is a fact that one Dalit boy has died. It is a fact that so much injustice was meted out to these five boys. It is a fact that the BJP minister wrote to the HRD minister. It is a fact that the HRD ministry sent five communications in such a short span of time. It is a fact that the HRD minister herself has jumped into it. It is a fact that the BJP is trying to find fault with this poor boy and uh, with all these boys who were part of this Ambedkar Association. These are the facts. Now, the, who is politicizing the situation? It is they, not the Congress. No, the Congress party, your leader goes uh, to, uh, uh, to Hyderabad. It's Rahul Gandhi who goes to Hyderabad and 
uh, along with other political parties makes this out to be as if it is the center which is solely responsible for what has gone wrong in Hyderabad University. Now, isn't that stretching it? Yes, you can, okay. uh, you know, should you at least not wait for a fact-finding report to come out? The HRD ministry has appointed one, but I find even before that fact-finding committee report comes out, you've already held the HRD minister and the labor minister, Bandaru Dattatre, guilty. No, 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 that is not true. We, we stand by both these things. Yes, an incident has happened and our leader has gone there. Our leader always goes to the support of such people. He has, this is not the first time. But please remember that this incident has taken place. Mm -hmm. And what fact-finding? It is due to the pressure of the HRD ministry mm -hmm. that such an incident has taken place. So uh, what fact-finding mission? You know, the uh, HRD uh, minister herself has been misleading the nation mm -hmm. that we have seen. You, you have seen yourself. How? That how has she misled it? Please tell me how has she misled people it? people have come up. How has she misled the nation? It is, it is the professors themselves from, uh, from the university who have said that she has misled the nation. She said that it, is the, uh, it was a Dalit who headed the committee. And the professors are saying no. And in fact, it was because of her stance mm -hmm. that these 10 people wanted to resign. Can I, can I hold it you is there? because of her stand. Can I just hold you there? Because Sudanshu Trivedi, the fact is today 13 professors and various faculty members have resigned or offered to resign, claiming solidarity with uh, the uh, students who are protesting. Now, whether you like it or not, this is becoming Dalit versus non-Dalit. All these professors belong to Dalit OBC communities. And there is a sense that this is becoming, that is the nature of this battleground. You can't avoid that. Why blame the opposition political parties? These professors apparently are resigning on their own volition. Rajiv, there are two aspects of this problem. One is a factual ground reality. Mm -hmm. And other is the principle of Dalit movement and the Dalit representation and Dalit rights in academic institutions. Mm -hmm. Shailja ji was saying, is it not the fact mm -hmm. that that ABVP boy which was beaten up, when the university committee has taken decision without giving him a hearing, mm -hmm. his mother has moved to high court in the month of August 2015 when there was no Bangaru Dattar, Bandaru Dattar Tre's letter and it is on the intervention of the high court when high court sought the uh, court sought the action taken report. Then the university decided to take action and which has been categorically defined by Vice Chancellor in the statement also. That he has taken the action under the pressure from court, not from university. No, 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 second all, thing, yes, second thing. Yes. And uh, about the letter of Bandaru Dattatre and the subsequent reaction of um, Human Resource Ministry. She has not written a uh, letter only for this university, for so many universities. And Mr. Hanumant Rao, who is your member of parliament, mm -hmm. he has written that some successively discrimination of Dalit student is going on in the month of October 2014. For 10 years, your government was there in both at the center of the state. And nine Dalit students are presumably have committed suicide during that regime, which has been categorically clear from the uh, letter of your member of parliament. Even for that, Smriti Rani is also uh, Mr. Sudan for, Trivedi, you didn't, letter. What Mr. Was Sudan there? Trivedi, you didn't answer my question. When these Dalit professors today are resigning on the campus, when there is a sense that a free and fair and independent inquiry perhaps cannot be conducted while the vice chancellor is in the position that he is, is the best thing? To ask the vice chancellor to step aside till such time as the inquiry is complete and let there be a clear sense that the inquiry is being conducted in a fair, free and independent manner. Has, has the matter reached that stage, yes or no? Rajdeep, it is painful that a meritorious Dalit student mm -hmm. who has never taken benefit of being Dalit mm -hmm. after his painful death, so much politics is being done on the so-called Dalit cause by the certain Western political groups. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask what he has written in his final suicide note. That my mind By using this delicate ahat man, they have manipulated it to the extent that he has gone to in namaz e janaza of Yaqub Menon. I would like to ask those Dalit professors, what is the connection of Dalit cause in the namaz e janaza of Yaqub Menon? Why you are trying to mislead those 
people and those young minds, brilliant let minds, ask, towards the destructive let activities. Let me ask Professor Vivek Kumar that Professor Vivek Kumar has this been a classic case of manipulation of minds? That Dalit minds have been manipulated. Now professors are being sought to be manipulated. You are willy nilly trying to make this Dalit versus non Dalit. Should you be trying to emotionalize this issue, a sensitive issue, instead of empathy to the family? All I am seeing is an attempt being made to politically emotionalize this issue. Rajdeep, there have been 744 murders of Dalits mm -hmm. in last uh, in, in for 2014, mm -hmm. and this is NCBR, uh, NBRC data. Now, the, not even one uh, upper caste leader, mm -hmm. not one upper caste minister, went and consoled the bereaved families. Mm -hmm. Now here is a case where mm -hmm. Dalits are murdered or mm -hmm. Dalit is a Dalit commits suicide mm -hmm. and if Dalit political parties mm -hmm. or if a Dalit leader goes there what is bad about this politics? No, no, my people my, who have my question is political that, power. My question is that who have I have earned political seen, power I, and who did are it the, the nation. Did it require the suicide of a Dalit student for you to wake up to the realities on the ground that the, the Dalit students feel discriminated against? Suddenly, political parties are recognizing this issue. As you yourself say, this has been going on for some time. There have been question marks, there have been suicides in the past. Okay. Only now, suddenly, are all of you waking up to this reality. No, I can't speak for everyone, but I am saying that why politics is being seen so low, why people think that politics is so bad. At least people are talking about the campus culture in this country because of this. Mm -hmm. And I think it's better that we should bring out it a required white a paper suicide? It on, on required the a suicide for this to happen, sir? It required a suicide for this campus culture to be spoken if, about, Professor if, Kumar? If the people, Bahujan Samaj party, other the parties, politics, should if, they not have taken this issue up without requiring a suicide of a young man? If the political bosses have turned so insensitive, yes. I think a suicide is required then. If the political if, if bosses have, have turned so, so insensitive, a suicide is required? You are saying if political parties have turned insensitive, a suicide is, is required actually. to wake them up? That's a serious point. Chirag Paswan, respond to that. Chirag Paswan is joining me of the Lok Jan Shakti party. Please respond to that, Chirag Paswan. You've gone to the spot. Many will say you are part of this NDA government. You have more to answer for than most. You have apparently called for an inquiry. Ram Vilas Paswan is quoted as calling for an inquiry. Did it require, as is being suggested by Professor Vivek Kumar, a suicide? to wake up our insensitive political class to what perhaps happens on the campus, Chirag? No, I think that's a, that's a, that's a very, very hard statement. I mean, uh, a suicide, suicide is not required for nothing uh, uh, to wake anyone or anything of this sort. Uh, yes, definitely, this is a very, very sad incident that has taken place. A student has committed suicide. Let us all handle it with utmost sensitivity. I mean, I do understand the sensitivity of the matter. I do agree to the, uh, to the anger and to the emotions of many others around this. Uh, but having said that, I think uh, uh, this is one matter that needs to be dealt with utmost uh, sensitivity. And uh, let the investigation reports come out. Let us all know that who is exactly responsible for whatever that happened with Rohit there in Hyderabad but, Central but University. But can the, can the investigation, in Chirag... ...to pinpoint anyone or to finger out... No, that, no, but uh, Chirag, can this investigation this? take place... Sorry to intervene. Can the investigation take place in a free and fair manner while the vice chancellor remains where he is, while the executive council members remain where they are? Is there a need perhaps for some of them to step aside till the inquiry is done? Or you see no reason for that? You know, I, uh, I honestly, Ghazi I mean, I, I don't know who needs to step aside, but yes, this is all that I've been demanding uh, for the past two days, that an independent agency should investigate the matter in an absolute impartial manner. Now, who's independent? have to know, because it's not a day's incident, you know, it's been happening for a couple of months, and I don't know for how many years, you know. No, but let who's an independent anyone. agency here? Let it be a judicial here? committee uh, sitting over it and Rajdeep, taking over the matter, or Rajdeep, let it be CBI uh, doing the investigation. Rajdeep! This yes. is what I'm saying. I, uh, either it's a judicial uh, uh, committee who's doing this or a CBI or anybody. But okay, an judicial committee. A judicial committee could be appointed. Okay, go ahead. Ra yes, Vivek Kumar, what is the point you want to make, sir? I was just asking, you know, there, you know, according to SCST commission, mm -hmm. there are two murders per day. 
फॉर टेन लॉन्ग इयर्स दिस इज द डेटा विच एक्चुअली सजेस्टेड बाय एस सी एस टी हाउ मेनी इंक्वायरीज विल यू सजेस्ट नो टू मर्डर इज जस्ट एन आई आई थिंक वी नीड टू मर्डर वेर टू मर्डर इन इंडिया across india in not india, just on campuses two not murders per day and three rape of dalit women this is the data of sc commission now for 10 long years this has happening and this is only collation of the data so there is this uh, you know every day murder and every day rape what what are you talking about an inquiry you should go and look into the atmosphere of the universities of the iits of iims of uh you know let uh, me our uh, aims let where actually there have been always suicides and we talk are talking about inquiries is it is it not a blatant actually you know dismissal of the people can sacrifice I, which people which which mothers and fathers make can, can, can i for a moment bring in kumari shelja kumari shelja this is the point which many are making that today when i see politicians making a beeline to hyderabad i come back to it did it require rohit vemula's tragic suicide for you to wake up to a reality that on the campuses there could be institutionalized discrimination we don't know whether it was to what extent it was in this case but that is the suspicion that it could have happened even in hyderabad where there have been nine suicides in the last 10 years your government was in power as is rightly said both in delhi and in hyderabad over this period you didn't raise this issue in the past did it require rohit's death for you all to wake up to the reality on the ground ma'am may i may i rem remind my friend from uh, bjp yes that it's not a matter of uh, politicizing it now but it happened that there was a problem between abvp which is a political youth political wing of the bjp and if it was not between abvp and uh, ambedkar association then would they have taken up ma'am you're, you're not answering my question ma'am you're not answering my question kumari ji eh, kumari shelja ji ministry, this has been happening take, for 10 years taking it up, as vivek kumar is pointing it out with, this has been happening in the past with such alacrity ma'am why did you not take it up in the past we would be failing in our duty why did the congress not take it up in the past in our duty if we did not take it up but why did you not take it up in the past we have taken it up earlier also congress Congress has always spoken for the downtrodden. Rahul ji, wherever incidents have happened, whether it was in our government, whether it was now in BJP government, Rahul ji has visited. These, Nine suicides uh, took place in the past. I don't think Rahul ji went to any of those place. families. So please, madam. Nine suicides took place in the past. Rahul ji never went there in the past. It's only now when he's in the opposition that he's going to uh, uh, to in, Hyderabad. And. no whenever incidents took place whether it was in mirchpur whether it was anywhere when our government was there rahul ji was found there free parliament right in front of the russian embassy in kabul eyewitnesses say it was a suicide car bomb in front of the russian embassy a number of casualties what's up delhi Who are the chicks and cookers who are coming on stage?